Hello from Franklin, Tennessee. Uh, excited to be talking about camp today. Uh, obviously for several reasons. First one being that I just love camp. Uh, I grew up there. I went there my whole um, childhood, middle school, high school. I worked there after I graduated. So I think it's pretty safe to say that I love camp and I'm super excited to be talking about it. My favorite part about going to camp was probably fellowship with some of the greatest people I've ever met. Um, just one of a kind people that I got to see every summer and hang out with. Camp really brings you to this place of safety and gets you away from all the hardships and it helps you to focus on what's actually important. Playing crazy games, getting to know new people, um, building relationships with, with new friends and old friends, and being able to just experience life away from home. There's a lot of favorite parts for me about going to camp. Um, one of them obviously being the games, I think, are just incredible. One of my favorite parts of going to camp has always been the worship. It's so moving and powerful to be in a chapel with so many people that are just completely, their whole souls just worshiping the Lord. I loved um, just being able to worship with all my friends and in a way that was kind of new in an atmosphere that, that made the Spirit of God um, really feel fresh to me. Um, you know, because it's different from what you do every week and, and you're with people that you're not always with. And so it just creates a good experience. At first, you know, my favorite part of camp was probably the games and, you know, meeting new people. But um, as I kept going, it became more about the spiritual part of camp and the really getting to know Jesus part of camp. Well, I look forward to going every, every year. It's to see old friends and make new ones. Seeing all my friends that I um, uh, met and created at camp. My favorite part about going to camp was just being able to meet new people and develop relationships with the counselors and the CITs. The games, the crazy messy games that Tony always came up with, probably the most memorable one would have been the relay race we had where we had to build a hamburger. And we went through 12 stations and whenever we completed a uh, whatever he had us to do, we got a part of the burger. So by the time we got to the end, we had this messy, sloppy, nasty burger that everybody had to take a bite of at the end. Our whole team did. So that was probably my, one of my most favorite memories um, from game time. Getting to meet new friends and all the games and activities. I think playing basketball the whole time because all the other kids would spend their free time in the pool and I didn't like swimming, so I would just play basketball for about three hours every afternoon and loved every minute of it. Camp was always meaningful for me as a camper because even though I moved a lot as a kid, it seemed like one of the few constants that I had in my life where I could always look forward to going to camp in the summer to make friends and learn more about God. I love being able to listen uh, to someone else uh, present the gospel in a way that was, that was new and in a way that I had never heard before. So camp taught me how to actually be a Christian rather than just how to act like one. It helped me to strengthen my faith into who I am today and how I can be a leader within my community and internationally through missions. Um, it made me confident enough to talk about my faith and teach it to other people as well. And now as a counselor, it's even more meaningful to me because I get to be that counselor for the kids that I had when I was a camper. And I get to be the one to help make it a positive experience for them and help them learn more about Christ. I remember going to camp one year when I was the only person from our church going to camp. And I remember how nervous I was about attending by myself where I didn't feel like I really knew anybody. And that was probably my best year at camp. I um, made new friends, I made lifelong friends that year, and I really grew as a Christian. The praise and worship at camp has always been the most meaningful part to me. The, I guess my most memorable chapel night would be the night I accepted Christ into my heart at the altar. Um, one of the, I was 16 years old. Uh, I think Coach Peters had just spoke. Um, that moved me and I uh, went to the altar that night and accepted Christ in my heart. And that, would, that was definitely my most meaningful moment at camp. Never forgot it. That's where I accepted Christ. Camp had a big part in my spiritual development. I grew up in the church, I was raised in the church, but something seemed to happen or click during the weeks of camp where 
it all kind of made sense, whether it was during the services or the classes or just being with other Christians for the entire week. Um, it just all started to make sense. And as I grew older and not a camper, but working at camp, I believe that's where a lot of my understanding of grace truly uh, happened through camp. Camp impacted my relationship with Christ by starting it. Um, camps where I gave my life to Christ. Well, it was the first place that I can remember uh, my relationship with Christ really clicking uh, in my head. Um, growing up in a, in a Christian home, I think you're constantly surrounded by the gospel and you're constantly, you know, when you're being raised by, by great Christian parents and, and you're in a church with people who love you, you're always, you know, around uh, the gospel. And, and so you grow up and it, it kind of isn't your faith necessarily. Um, you know, you, you, you do believe, but I think a lot of times it's because you've been taught to believe that. And so um, at camp, uh, that I remember it really, it felt like my relationship and it felt like the first time I really experienced Christ uh, on a relational level. I've always grown up in church, so I knew God, I knew Jesus, but going to camp really solidified my relationship with Christ and gave me a deeper understanding of his love for me and what an important part of my life he could be. I really met Jesus at camp. I really had my first real experience with him there at camp and really um, got to know who he was through all the lessons at camp and um, got to know who I am in him. Well, I had already accepted the Lord, but, but camp helped to bring it closer and closer. Camp has kind of helped me grow as a person to become more of a role model for kids as I'm a CIT at camp for most of the summer. And just being able to look at the counselors and see how they do and see that they're, the impact that they have on the kids and stuff has helped me grow more as a person and helped me to develop those leadership qualities to use in my daily life. It has taught me more about God. So something that will always stay with me after my time with camp is that some of the smallest details have the biggest impact. Just being genuine and real with people can make the biggest difference. Um, like the words that you say, like the words that were said to me growing up and the ones that I use now can have a lasting and powerful impact. Um, and it's what people remember and how they take away from these intentional conversations that you have with campers and stuff. So definitely uh, details just mean the world to people. The relationships that I made. Um... I grew up with a lot of, of these people at camp and, you know, there were a lot of people that, that have been going to camp with me since I was five and we graduated camp together and um, I'm still very, very close with a lot of these people, some of whom I, I would consider my best friends. Um, camp just creates this, this bond in between people that it, it, doesn't, it doesn't break easily and, and you keep up with that, these, these people and, um, you know, just the relationships from camp uh, definitely is something that will always stay with me. It's just such a wonderful hands-on and relational way to learn about God and I wouldn't have the relationship with Christ that I do today if it weren't for going to camp every summer. Uh, so my parents always joke around and say that camp raised me and it's funny but you know at the same time it's true in a lot of ways. Camp gave me these opportunities to be a part of something like a very special team and it molded me into the leader and grounded me in faith. Camp has helped me to develop as a person by mainly helping me see my identity in Christ and start to discover some of the spiritual gifts he's given me and be content with how I am, that I am fearfully and wonderfully made. I would definitely tell a student contemplating who to go to camp, I'd definitely tell them to go. It's so much fun and you get to develop these great relationships with all the campers and the counselors and the CITs and it's just a great experience. Go to camp. Go to camp. Don't be scared. I know I was nervous as a fifth grader when I went, but it was the best thing my parents did was to send me to Camp Dixie. Um, I loved it. Uh, you will have um, lifelong friends. That's where I met some of my best friends ever, and they are my Camp Dixie friends. So don't be scared. Go. It's fun for all ages. Um, you'll love it. You'll love the games. You'll love the friends. You'll love the chapel time. It's just an awesome experience. 
Summer camp offers something for everyone. You get outside of your comfort zone and you learn something new. Um, you gain unique experiences and stories with new friends and it really leaves a lasting impact for everyone that attends summer camp. I would say go to camp. To start now saving those dollars because you're going to need them. <laughs> <laughs> Open your heart and your eyes and, and, and enjoy it. That it's a lot of fun and you get to meet new people and everyone is nice. Go to camp. <laughs> That's all you need to do. Um, I remember being a kid, I was nervous because I was the kid that couldn't swim, but <laughs> I went to camp anyway and stuck with it and it was it changed my life. When people ask me where my favorite place in the world is, usually camp is one of my first answers. Camp is a place that's changed my life. If you're thinking about going to summer camp this summer, don't think about it, just do it. It'll be one of the greatest experiences of your life. You'll meet friends, do lots of fun activities, and your faith will grow in a way that you really can't explain unless you've been there. I would say do it. Um, if you're not sure or you're still trying to decide, I would just say do it because I think it's something that is, uh, it's unlike anything else. And it's an experience you won't ever have uh, anywhere else, um, just besides camp. And um, yeah, I would say do it because if you don't, I think you're missing out. Go. Go. I mean, camp is something that you really only get when you're, when you're a kid. And that's something that, um, that you should, all, everybody should be able to experience it. So go to camp. So some of my favorite memories at camp are definitely laughing with people and pulling a lot of pranks that we got to do. So like one time we got everyone's name tags at night and we hung them up in trees and then the next morning they came out and the name tags were all hanging in the trees. We put Kool-Aid in the toilet tanks and so that when they would flush it, it would come up looking like blood and so that was disgusting. This one time I made schedules to where I would put them in people's name tag on top of their other schedules and it would tell them to make me food and bring it to me at certain hours in the day. We got up in the middle of the night with a box full of sticky notes and sticky noted the adjacent Al's bathroom to where it was covered from head to toe with sticky notes. We ended up blowing up balloons all night and we filled up the shower with like 300 balloons so that when our counselor opened it in the morning, he was hit with a wave of like 300 balloons. I stole some of the other CIT's name tags and suspended them in jello. So I got fishing wire and I tied it to a rubber lizard and I was on the top bunk and I woke up the person on the bottom bunk by making it crawl up his sleeping bag. We made a crime scene last year by taking a canoe up the hill, flipping it upside down and putting it on the cabin deck. And then we got a chalk outline of a body, put ketchup everywhere and then wrapped the whole thing up in caution tape. Then I broke into the toilet paper dispensers and replaced the toilet paper with bubble wrap so that when you would reach for it, it would just be rolls of bubble wrap. And I think that's all. The power of camp is life-changing. The power of camp is relationships. The power of camp is love. The power of camp is life-changing. The power of camp is the witness. The power of camp is Jesus. The power of camp is life-changing. The power of camp is Jesus.